Since 2015, commercial blueberry orchards have been expanding in Georgia. This growth has been supported by the state program Plant the Future. In addition to other benefits, this program provided agricultural market players with access to different blueberry varieties, inputs required for blueberry orchards, and technical expertise and knowledge. Majority of blueberries produced in Georgia, 60%, are of the legacy variety. The other varieties grown in the country include O'Neill, Ellis Blue, Blue Crop, etc. Blueberry orchards in Georgia totaled only 23 hectares in 2015 and have expanded to 2,144 hectares in 2022, with an average annual growth of 76%. San Miguel accounts for 59% of the total area under blueberry orchards in Georgia, Imereti for 20%, Curia for 17%, and Ajara for 4%. In total, our plantation covers 20 hectares. It is comprised of several blueberry varieties which are well adapted to the conditions in Georgia. There is an annual increase and improvement in quantity and quality of blueberries produced in Georgia, as plants are entering full production. Production and post-harvest technologies have also improved. With the help of USAID, we purchased and installed a sorting line, which is especially useful for planning sales and improving the quality of our produce and its marketability. This line removes any foreign matter, sorts the harvested berries by their firmness and grades them by size. The expanding area of blueberry orchards over the past eight years has led to increased harvests. In 2021, blueberry production in Georgia amounted to 1.2-1.5 thousand tons. This year's forecast is promising, with the production reaching 2,000 tons. Simplifying the harvesting process is the key. To this end, USAID supported the development of a mobile application for recording harvests. This software is designed specifically for farmers systematizing and integrating harvest records not only at the storage stage, but also during harvesting. It simplifies reporting for harvested and collected berries, and the system is automated and user-friendly. June and July are the most active months for blueberry exports in Georgia. Around 60% of blueberry exports occur in June and the rest in July. Over the past two years, off-season exports have developed. Fresh blueberries are exported in May and frozen ones in autumn and early winter, albeit in small quantities. An important element in blueberry marketing is a portable solar refrigerator. Its cooling cell uses solar power. The portable refrigerator ensures fast cooling of berries and delivers them to their destination without any damages, guaranteeing their quality. The goals of Georgian Berry Growers Association are to identify farmers' needs and to seek solutions. In February 2021, we received a grant from USAID, and the first thing we did was buy a refrigerated truck equipped with solar panels. It can transform solar power into direct current and use it for the cooling system. As berries need fast cooling, we installed ventilators in the cell to provide fast cooling and maintain the berry quality. 15 to 20 percent of blueberries produced in the country are consumed locally, and the rest are exported. In 2016, blueberry export value reached 0.2 million USD, and by 2021 it increased to 5.6 million USD, with an average annual growth of 59%. Since 2019, the USAID Agriculture Program, through its matching grant scheme, has invested 0.743 million in small and medium-sized blueberry enterprises, helping them to adopt modern production technologies, for example, tunnel production of blueberries to accelerate their ripening, and construct modern post-harvest handling facilities. From 2019 to 2022, the total sales of program beneficiaries reached 11.7 million USD, and they created an equivalent of 851 full-time new jobs. Having a modern post-harvest handling facilities reduced the primary producer's losses from 35% to 10%. 
One of the important production technologies we have adopted is high tunnels, which are simplified greenhouses for blueberry production. They allow producers to grow large quantities of higher quality blueberries and more importantly protect their harvest from weather risks, which are important factors in agriculture. I would like to use this opportunity to thank USAID for allowing us to test this technology. With the USAID grant, we purchased the new equipment and introduced tunnel production on about two hectares. USAID's support was designed to introduce quality control and safety arrangements in the industry, help the industry players to participate in international exhibitions, institutionalize training programs in the leading educational establishments in the country, and assist them in marketing. In addition, the USAID Agriculture Program conducted group online and field trainings for 150 primary producers. Their trainers were highly qualified international experts.